We are live on Facebook, guys, so you can share if you want to. Okay, so thank you very much, everybody, for joining us once more. Like I said, you're in for a surprise today. We have so many ladies who have worked really, really hard for their presentation, and we're here to eat some food. All right, so thank you very much, everybody. And we are Facebook Live as well. So if I haven't, if anybody has questions, I'll, I'll just read it out, the questions that people have, because I can see what's going on here, okay? Thank you very much. So I'll hand it over to my co-host, Ejiro, to take it over. This is my co-host. I've always said that I cannot wear her shoe or her shoe cannot fit me because she is, she is big. Guys, when we finish, don't do it now because you're going to be distracted. But when we finish, you can go and check Ejiro out and you will know what I'm talking about. This oh, girl oh. has rolled with very important people. And if you want to say uh, the president of Nigeria, she has rolled with the president of Nigeria. And that's to show you that women, we have the power and women, we have opportunity. All we have to do is work together collectively and ask questions if we have to, and we'll all get there someday. So now I'll hand it over to Ejiro to open the floor for us. Thank you very much. Thank you, know. Thank you very much, Lady. You are making me blush here <laughs> on a half sunny day, half windy day, half cold day. And um, whatever the weather is in any part of the world, you are, I want to say welcome, welcome, welcome. This is extremely <laughs> exciting for us. I hope everybody can hear me wherever you are. Yes, 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 yes we can. can. Thank you. This is, a, this is especially exciting for myself and every other woman who has made time out to log in for wherever you are around the world, because there's something about when a vision is birthed, isn't it? I'm sure you'll agree with me. So we all came together to uh, bring you the very first, the very first exhibition, UK exhibition of the um, Women Business Arena here in London, connecting you around the world. And we're extremely excited. We have um, we have a number of exhibitors on ground. It's our very first one. We're gonna have more people join us. We're gonna have, this is gonna be huge. So it's, it's exciting because we said six o'clock today on the Sunday, the 31st of August, and it's happening. Yay! So we're really excited. Um, the planning yes. committee, you guys have been so awesome. Um, I will want to especially thank Joy Agbakuba, who is the founder, the chief host of Women Business Arena, which is called WBA, and she's the CEO of Travels Haven Limited. So I want to welcome her, especially want to welcome you, especially, and um, wherever you are, if you can put your hands, a round of applause for each and every one of you for making it out here this evening. Thank you. Yeah. Ejiro, you're muted. Yeah, we can hear you, you now. Me? Did you hear everything I said initially? Not, not towards the end, honey. Okay, all right, okay. So uh, you didn't miss much. I said that we have a number of exhibitors on ground and we're going to be introducing them. Okay, um, a big thank you to, to my, my co-host. Uh, my name is Ejiro again, they call me Lady EJ. You can say Lady EJ, um, a presenter, um, a host, an events compare, a public speaker, um, a personal um, development consultant, right? So um, I think we're gonna kick start. I know you're all waiting. We have the first exhibitor on ground. Right, and um, I don't know, Lida, I think you should go ahead and take that one or- Okay. I can, yes, we, you, you can start with, with her. We can start with our very first um, exhibition. Um, I am so, I am so happy, happy to take this powerful woman, you know? <laughs> and I was, she, you know, sometimes, like I always say that we all need somebody, regardless of how big you are, or small you are, you all need, you, we all need somebody to motivate you or inspire you or pray for you. 
okay? But yeah. before I go to our first guest today, I just want to invite the one special woman that made this possible. If it wasn't for these women, we won't be here today. And this woman has actually given us, I'm saying woman because I'm not calling her name yet, but what I can say is she's a woman of substance, a woman of tenacity, a woman, because I always say that it takes a woman of substance to promote another woman, to talk good about another woman, to support another woman. Because like I always say that women, we have the power. The power has been given to us. It's, there's a say that you train a man and you train only one man. Train a woman and you train the entire nation. So if we use the power that has been given to us, this is what happens. Look at today. This is the, our first show um, exhibition today. We have all over 50 people in attendance on Zoom. We have over 22 people in attendance on Facebook, but it's because of one woman. One woman who said she saw she's not selfish and she's going to see the other woman climb on top of her. And that is what we want to see. So when the woman is climbing, she's holding the ladder for us. If it's someone else, they'll shake the ladder like this and poof, you, you fall down. Or they will not even hold the ladder for you. But this woman, she's holding the ladder for every single woman who is willing to join the wagon. And this woman, her name. Do you want to do the hey, Do you want to do the dress? Do you want to do the dress? <laughs> Oh, okay, God. her name is Joy. Joy. Joy, please. Thank you, Lydia. Thank you so much. Thank you You're for welcome. all the praises. Thank you for everything you've said about me. I would just tell you a little bit about this vision and the mission, WBA. It started completely by accident in April 2019 because I found myself being the Google for most of my friends. I was the go-to person. I still am the go-to person, even with the platform I set up. People still call me and say, oh, Joy, who is the best makeup artist on the platform? Who is the best fashion designer? So I had that for so many years with all my friends. Always, uh, I was always a reference point for them to get um, a tried and tested vendor. So one day I decided to put a group together um, on WhatsApp just for my friends and a few vendors I had used over the years. It wasn't for business at all. It was just connecting my friends to good vendors. So that platform grew. Friends were asking, please ask my, add my friend, add my friend, add my friend. And the WhatsApp platform became full. And someone else said to me, Joy, this is a business you've started. Own it. So I decided to register it in Nigeria. And then other groups came along. We had an exhibition December last year, very first exhibition, and we had 117 exhibitors last year. We were planning another exhibition. We would have been having another one December this year, but we had to, to cancel and, and do what we are doing now. So this is our first test run of um, online exhibition. And I hope this turns out well. And I would like to add as well a little bit about my background. This is my 29th year in entrepreneurship. I'm 60 years old and I should actually be thinking of retirement now. Um, I started my entrepreneurial um, journey in um, 1993 when I started um, West Hampstead Secretarial Services in London, West Hampstead, and then the CJ Open Services in 1993. And then Coco Complete Grooming Service, that was now in Nigeria, which was a grooming place for women only. And then Traveler's Haven, which is my latest baby. Before, um, in 2019, WBA, which is now my, my biggest passion. I drink it, I dream <laughs> it, I eat it, and that is all I do every day. WBA, Connecting Women. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you so much. You. That was that was awesome. That was Thank an you. awesome intro. It's such a pleasure 
Lydia, I see that you want to say something. What, what yeah. are you going to say? I just wanted to ask you if you heard what I had. She said by accident. So if this was started by accident, <laughs> if, if it wasn't an accident, what would happen? Because by accident, we have more than 50 women. So not by accident. I think we'll be capturing a thousand plus women. And that's, yes. I think that that is the passion here. We want to capture as many women as we can. Yes. And we also want to um, not just tell them about our businesses that, oh, I sell this or I sell this, but also to encourage them on the process. And that is why our first guests have really inspired me because it's not just about come and buy what I sell. No, 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 no. It's about how did I start selling this? It's about power and taking the power back to our hands because what happens is most of the time we give power away. We give our power away to fear. We give our power away to intimidation. We give our power away to people who tell us, no, you cannot do it. And we give our power away. But this particular lady, and that is why I had to put her first, because whatever she has to tell us was, if you know what that means. So now <laughs> I'm going to introduce Moji Sola. And Moji Sola is going to tell us also about more about herself because really I cannot even introduce her. I cannot say so much about her because I don't want to miss anything. I don't want to miss anything. Not that she's going to shoot me, but I'm going to shoot myself if I miss anything because that won't be fair. So now, Moji, Moji Sola, please unmute okay. yourself and take the floor. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Lydia. Great evening, ladies. Great evening, everyone. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you, Sister Joy, for you know setting up this program. Really excited about it. Thank you, Lydia, for your leadership as well. My name is Muji Adibawale, and I'm a beauty consultant and a sales director with Mirike Cosmetics. And my Mirike business started 14 years ago. I was a, uh, before uh, uh, before my Mirike business, I was a qualified nurse. I was on maternity leave with my third child. She was three months old. I had eight years old, I had six years old, and a three months old. I had acne. I was using the product before I had my baby. So when this lady came to visit me because of my child, because of my new baby, um, I was broke at the time. So she, she said, why don't you try the, the business? And I was like, no way, I can't do this. You know, she just said, try for three months. If it doesn't work, and then you can quit. And 14 years later, I am having a life of myself. You know, I'm still here 14 years, you know, 14 years later, running my Medicaid business around my children. My children, they are, you know, they are uh, yes. young adults now, and I have the freedom now to, you know, to run my business. I came to Medicaid because of the money, because I was broke. But during, you know, uh, with, with that, I, I'm, I'm already, you know, getting the money, but I'm getting recognition along the way. As a nurse, I was never recognized for anything. All I got was, you're late, you're this, complain, complain. But with Mary Kay, every little achievement, you are being recognized. I also, getting the money, getting the recognition, getting the advancement, I promote myself in Mary Kay. I got the car, you know, the career car, that you can drive for seven, I've been driving for seven years, you know, uh, uh, driving free, no MOT, no road tax, no insurance, everything is being paid for by the company. You know, uh, I also get self, you know, self-motivation from this company. So I'm gonna share my screen with you just to tell you a little bit about the company that I've been that I've been part of for the last 14 years. So bear with me while I share my screen with you. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. Okay, America is a global company and it's been around it's been in around the world for the last since 1963. We are in the top five global skincare brand. This is Mirike Ash. And we have over 3.5 million beauty consultants all over the world. We are in, in Europe, in Germany, Spain, you know, Portugal, um, all these uh, European countries. We have over one. We have over 350,000 um, products that we that we uh, exhibit. We also we have we make in uh, estates over four billion US dollars in a year, 
And this is our company's value. This, our, this will set us apart from other direct sales company. We have a golden rule and we, we make God our priority. We make our family second and we make career third. And we teach skincare. We are not a company that just sell lipstick. We teach skincare, we teach color cosmetics. We empower women how to look after themselves and how to make extra income for themselves. And we have the, you know, uh, we, we have a number one customer service. I can tell you that we look after our customers. We open 24 hours online. We are direct sales company. We are not multi, um, you know, multi level company, but we are still a direct sales company where we have products that we sell to customers that women love, that men love. Medicaid a company is the manufacturer. We are the beauty consultant that get it from the, uh, the company, we sell it to our customer. So there's no middleman. We take it directly from the company and we service our customer 24 hours. Reason why women join Mary Kay is they join because of the money. If you're like me as a nurse, I was broke. I joined because of the money, but along the line, I've got the recognition that I deserve. So everything I achieve, Mary Kay recognizes us, give us a lot of gift that I wouldn't have you know, spent my money on to buy for myself. Some people join because of the self-esteem. Some people join because of the flexibility and friendship. In Mary Kay, you are not on your own. We have sisterhood and the flexibility give you the time to look after your children and also earn executive money while you're looking after your family. Some people come, come to Mary Kay because of, the, because of the, um, the company's car. Yes, that's true. You can get the car as well if that's what you want. Some come because of the advancement we are here, you can promote yourself. You can be the boss. And some people come because they want to be their own boss. Nobody boss me around. I run my business around my children. I'm making money, I run it full time. And this is our career path. You can make money in two ways. Make money by selling the products that men and women love. We have products from the eye to the tie, from the lip to the hip. If you have eye, we are product for you. If you have hip, we are product for you. If you have lip, we are product for you. So our product is for men and women. And we also make money by building a team. Like I said earlier, we are not multi-level company. We are not bring five people, get 1,000 pounds. No, we have products that we retail to people. So when you build your team, you bring out, bring in the women to empower them, for them to come and make money like I am doing. I have some wonderful women, unstoppable women in my unit, in my team that they are also making money. I'm coaching, I'm teaching, I'm sharing, I'm supporting them. So Mary Kay gave me a commission for doing that. I'm not their boss, I'm just supporting them. And I get my 40% from selling and also get my commission check from the company every single month, which I love. And so if you want to become a beauty consultant, the star kit is very, very affordable. You can work flexible hours, you can do it part-time, maybe once a week or during the season time, Christmas time, Mother's Day, Father's Day, you can do your business that, that way. If you wanna do it full-time like myself, you're also welcome. There is no spe specific experience needed. We teach you, we coach you, we train you, we support you. There is no target either or territory. You can run your business throughout the UK and Ireland and Europe. There's free training online, you know, uh, 24 hours training, if you want to, we support you, like I said. You can, America is an opportunity for, for you to learn a new skill. I was a qualified nurse. I was not a beauty consultant, but coming to America, they have also taught me how to be a makeup artist. So now I am, I've learned a new skill from the company. I'm a makeup artist as, you know, as well. So it's, it's a long term career. You know, we can go to your job and tomorrow they can say, sorry, we don't need you anymore, but this business is yours. Nobody can take this business away from you. This is my business, this is my, uh, my baby, and I love what I do. So it's your choice. You can be a customer, you can be my customer. I look after you 24 hours. You can host a party for me online, virtually, where you know, I look after your, your guests, and you can get a gift for that. You can be a consultant like myself, you know, and you can be a leader as well like myself. For the last seven years, I've been a leader, you know, leading women, supporting them, coaching them to be you know, to make extra money and get what it came for, to Mary Kay to get. And also, so you might be saying, what do I do next? Okay, these are our two starter keys. If you want to sign up today, please do speak with me. 
is very affordable. And this, uh, um, this case can change your life. It changed my life 14 years ago and I've never looked back. I am loving my business. I'm loving the woman I've become. I'm loving the confident, beautiful women that I've become along the way for the last 14 years. And my customer can boast of me because they get 24 hours and super, super customer service from me and the, also the lady that I lead. My name is Moji Sola Adebowale. Thank you so much, ladies, for having me to, tonight. I'm so excited. Thank you. I welcome any question if you have one. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well done. Any questions? Anybody with a question, please just write it in the chat and I'll see it. And we'll answer it. We'll read it out. And okay, anybody with a question? Anybody with a question? I cannot see anybody with a question. If you have any question, just write it down on the chat. Okay. As we wait, if anybody has a question, we can go to, I will pass it over to my co-host, my big co-host, EJ. <laughs> oh, Lina, sorry. It's always um, amazing when you... I know, but can, before we go, can, somebody just say, can you leave your details on the chat, please, my darling? Can you leave your details on the chat, okay. please? Thank you yeah, very I'm much. I'm doing that now. Okay, let's go to my co-host, Ejiro. Lita is always exciting when you say things like that. Thank you very much, Mojishola. That was great. Thank you. Thank and I you. bet you're going to have some questions. There were some things that you said that was really profound. Thank you so much. Now, um, we said earlier that this platform is just bringing together lots of great women, you know, women who have purpose, who are on a journey to trying to achieve that purpose. Um, so we have next on our platform, another dynamic woman, dynamic lady. Um, she's going to come up and she's gonna tell us a lot about what she does. But all I hear about this is just some temptation thing going on. So <laughs> I think you need to just, you know, listen out and know what she's talking about when she comes up to, to tell us what she does. Her name is Nike Elagbede. And um, Nike is the CEO of Temptations by Nikki. So I like the way she coined that. And the truth is that she was a former food technology teacher, okay, who now specializes in all sorts of goodies, you know, finger foods for both big and small companies. So please, wherever you are, just put your hands together quietly, nicely, loudly, how you want to for Nike. And like, but then Nike, please take the platform and just talk to us and tell us what you do. Is Nike there? Yes. Hello. Yeah. Thanks, Hi, Ejiro. <laughs> How are you? Hello. Thank you so much. Um, can I first of all give honor to the person honor is due? Thank you so much, Joy, for this opportunity. Because when I first started talking, I didn't even realize who I was talking to. But um, she's so humble. This little time I've known her, and I'm so grateful for the opportunity to actually do this. So thank you so much, and thank you to Lydia, to all the thank ladies. You, I might not be able to mention everybody, but I'm really grateful, and I thank you for the warmth you have extended to me in this little time I've known you all. So thank you so much. Well, Without further ado, <laughs> I am um, Nikki Elegbede, as um. I've been introduced and I am the founder of um, Temptations by Nikki. Um, actually, I better share my screen before and then we'll take it from there. Um, share. Well, I think I need to go to the top, top, top. Oh, it's giving the goodies away. Don't do that. <laughs> Let us see the goodies. <laughs> Come on, we love the goodies. <laughs> Okay, so Temptations by Nikki is the business and it is Temptations because um, when I used to make snacks for my friends and family, oh, they'll take one and they'll come back and say, mm, it's tempting, they'll take another one. So there comes the name that it's tempting and it's actually made by Nikki. So that's where the name came from. So a few notes about me. I have actually started making cakes with my mom when I'm... Um, in Nigeria in her catering business. So that's where the passion came from originally. I um, 
do like to make cakes. Interestingly, I don't know why I've not gone bigger than this <laughs> from eating all the cakes, but we try <laughs> our best. So going a bit further into myself, I did um, attend City and Guild 7061 and 2 doing my cooking for the catering industry, both in Nigeria and back here. So after that, I went to college, I mean, to university, I did graduated and did the postgraduate certificate in education and then went on to teach really. So I think my slide is jumbled up because there should have been something about me somewhere, which I can't actually find, but never mind. <laughs> I'll, I'll just talk you through it. So during the time I was teaching, um, I'm always trying to make cakes. I don't make my cakes. And I didn't find a lot of joy in making the, in teaching like I would find in making my cakes. So I just was looking for part-time jobs, couldn't find any. I said, you know what, I'm just going to leave. So I actually left my teaching job and then um, started the business full-time because it's my passion. And that's how I started from about 2013 up till now. So we've been growing in doing little bits and bits and we're getting known now for other things. So Temptations by Nikki, we actually make sweet and savory products. So we do wedding cakes, birthday cakes, all celebration cakes really. So whatever events you have, we actually can make your cakes. We also do finger foods like and scotch eggs, meat pie and the like. So it's not only cakes, I do double into little things and dessert tables as well, canopies, salads, and the like, yep. So the next one is actually catering for, uh, I think I've used that as a slide. Hmm. Okay. I think I'll carry on. Sorry about this. I've missed out a slide. So we do actually make cakes for dietary groups. So if somebody is um, allergic to gluten, we make gluten-free cakes for them. If they're diabetic, they want sugar-free cakes or they're dairy-free. So we do all those sorts of cakes. And if somebody is into the religion, so they want a cake that um, doesn't have... Um, gelatin for instance so we'll make that sort of cake for them i have done an allergy course and um i am food hygiene rated i have a fork and then um, i'm registered with the environmental health in the borough and also registered with hmrc so it is a proper business even though i'm working from home but um it is really overseen because you need to do things properly as it is So um, the next one is just a few pictures of um, the cakes we do. So we have a lot of um, wedding cakes, engagement cakes, and this could actually be done in fruit cakes, sponge cakes, different flavors, um, pink champagne, two tier cakes, three tier cakes, five tier cakes with um, adorning them with sugar flowers. It really depends on what you want or even the traditional one molding the couple the bride and the groom. So it's really dependent on what the client wants and we work with them to achieve that. I've got um, another one here, a lot of um, celebration cakes as well, which we can make in any theme for a child or a fashionista. Anything you want really is what we can actually make for you in your cakes. And we've got um, the next one here. This number 40, if I can point it out because I can't talk about everything. This was actually um, the color of the celebrant's dress and the design on the dress that was made into this cake for her, for her 40th birthday. We have um, this one, which are book cakes. So if you're a Christian or a Muslim, you want scriptures on your cakes. Um, something has happened, you want a new dawn in your life. So all these sorts of things, or you're traveling, we can make cakes to actually suit them in whatever flavor and colors that um, you would prefer. 
Next one here is um, baby shower and christening cakes or gender reveal cakes, depending on what the, the man or the woman wants for the baby shower or gender reveal party cakes, we do them as well. There's a lot of pictures, so please bear with me. Um, this one is just showing you rainbow cakes. We put a spin on the rainbow, so we're not just giving you colors, we're actually giving you flavor. So all these ones have got the rainbow in them. And the red, for instance, would be strawberry flavor. The orange would be orange. The lemon would be lemon flavor and the like. So that is how we do our cakes um, here with the flavors for the rainbow cakes. And we've got some um, sporty ones. So if it's um, a Liverpool fan or an Arsenal fan or the hobby is just sports we do them or it's a ballet person so we do various cakes it depends on really what the client wants we also got the cream cheese cakes here and cream cakes and drip cakes so all these things we can do them in whatever flavor chocolate red velvet carrot anything you want we are there to actually do them for you we got graduation cakes for people who are celebrating their achievements, a nurse or any other graduation party you are doing, we can do them. So we also have a lot of finger foods. We have meat pies, we have ching ching sandwiches, tomato and cheese tartlets, um, kebabs, meat pie, sausage rolls, scotch eggs. I'm not making people hungry, am I? <laughs> You're trying very hard to do that. <laughs> it's a lot, of, a lot of food. And we've got okay. various cupcakes. We can't have enough of cupcakes. They, all of them can't fit here. We've got them in lemon, in chocolate, in orange, anything. And this one at the bottom here was a Hollywood themed um, party. So we had to actually make all the film reels and the golden um, things for them for the party. Wow. Um, okay. Wow. Uh, one, we have packages. So these ones are normally for people who want to do takeaways or it's a hen night or a stag that you don't want people messing about with the food. So they're packed individually. So your guests could actually take them or take them away with them when they're going. So there are a lot of things we could actually do to help you um, for your parties. And some people, um, they always think it's probably only weddings or birthdays. Um, but we do do a lot of funerals as well. That is actually a big one for us as well. Wow. We Thank have, you. Um, come on, let's go. Thank you. <laughs> we have um, cakes for corporates. <laughs> so we've done cakes for the council, um, various events and launches for skin products, for all women network, for boxing launches. So all those sorts of things, we actually do them based on the theme and this was a christmas one as well mm, so it okay. depends really on what the client wants that we work with them with okay. um this is our poster which we have to advertise our work and this one is just um a quick video to actually just show more creativity in what we do and the quality of the work we do it shouldn't take too long i will be quiet for one or two minutes before i come back That's the article. Those in, from Nigeria would know the man's attire. That's for Christmas, the igloo and pingo. <laughs> That's very obvious. <laughs> That's um, a cake for um, a brunch club. That's Father's Day cake. Or for any dad, anyway. That's another engagement cake. And this was a cake mimicking the bride's dress. Another wedding cake. 
I build our red wedding cake. That was a, a, a mini mouse themed wedding. Oh, I love Dylan. He didn't want anything on his cake. He was so bad in his cake. Yeah, and that was a, a product launch as well. That's the product and that's the cake. A camera for a photographer. That's a sweet cake. Okay, wow, that's a nice one. So thank, thank you, you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And um, we have a question here. We have a question here um, for, uh, as we watch the cakes, but we have a question here for Mary Kay. Somebody asked, uh, does Mary Kay have a retirement plan? So Mojisola, if you can please answer that. Does Mary Kay have a retirement plan, please? Thank okay. You. Okay. Do you want uh, Nikki to end her screen? Yes, I uh, think that will be better. Yes. When she ends it, then you can, can, she, then you can answer the question. Are you, are, you, are you sharing a screen as well when you answer that? Or you just... No, I'm not, no I'm not sharing. I'm not sharing. I'm, I'm, I'm going to answer. It's just as okay. the cake is just distracting me. If she can just... Um, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> thank you thank you very much thank you very much Nike. those Is are desserts as well okay yeah. um you need to clo close I've got, the... um, one more here now right so this is just a contact so oh, like actually a one thing. other thing which um i haven't added is that um because there's so much knowledge what i've started to do now i've started to teach people how to actually make cakes as well so I've got some young ladies in secondary school that are attending classes with me to actually learn how to um, make cakes, you know, about um, giving something back. It's not only about, oh, I'm selling this, I'm selling that. So how can you actually help somebody and empower the next generation coming up? So that's what um, I've started to do um, during the lockdown, actually. And so on the screen now is just how to contact us on mobile phone, Facebook, um, at Temptations Nikki, Instagram, Temptations by Nikki, email info, Temptations by Nikki.co.uk. And um, as I said, uh, we are for people who appreciate good food. So you're supposed to be satisfying your temptations. And I'll leave you on that. So thank you very much for this opportunity. I like <laughs> Thank you. Thank you I very like much, that. UK. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Nikki, that, that was a temptation by Nikki. That was a lot. And we have um, um, people just um, commenting and saying thank you. And uh, remember, um, lovely one, whatever question you have as well for, for Nikki, um, please put it out there, write it out there so that we can read it out and ask her questions. There's a lot, there's several things Nikki did not say, but um, we'll leave her to, if I remind her now, is we're gonna go back into it. You know, she didn't say some things which we know about, um, but it's great. Thank you so very much. So have any questions, please do not hesitate to, I don't know if there's a question coming up now. No, um, yeah, no, I, no. I, 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 I was just about, to, say, I was just about I, to answer the question that Lydia asked. Yeah, if that's okay, yeah. Lydia. Oh, yes. that's okay. Sorry, so Go ahead. Sure. Then, yeah, I'm then... sorry. I didn't. I didn't have. A, I don't have a question for Temptations by Nikki, but I just wanted to say that the cakes are absolutely amazing. Wow. I think what you do is great, and um, God has really blessed the work of your hands, honestly. Oh, well thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. So that's continue appreciated. continue that's to great. do great cakes, great snacks, and I'll definitely be ordering for sure. Oh, oh wow. thank that's you. That's awesome. So thank you. Now, that is what we call women empowering women. 
women supporting each other, women right. standing with each other, women That's holding right. a ladder for the other. That's right. Thank you so much. Great. great. All right. Mujisola. Okay, so there is no retirement with Mirike Cosmetics. Oh. You are a business, you are a business consultant forever. As long as you want to be any, your income, you can have your business. However, when you become a leader as a national sales director, when you have come to the top, top, top ladder, then there's a retirement age. That's the big B, that's the highest, you know, in Mirike Cosmetics. That is leader level. But as a business consultant, you're not, you cannot, no, no, there's no retirement age. Oh, nobody wants my number. Um, yeah. Do you, um, somebody's asking for Nikki's number. Um, oh. Nikki, you're going to share it on the screen again. I yeah. think there was, yeah, I know yeah, you had Nikki, your details on screen. If she writes, if she writes her details on the chat, that would be helpful. Just write your details on the chat, Nikki, uh, Nikki okay. please. So that it can stay there because if you just share it and then oh, when yeah, it goes, sure. then some people yes, that's not have true. Yeah. yeah. So we have also a question, but I think um Nikki or Mojisola can answer this because you're the two um women who have uh, business women who have spoken. Somebody asked, what was your biggest hurdle in starting your business? So what was I'm, the biggest hurdle in starting your business? So I think oh. both you women can actually respond to that, please. But oh, short, 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 short. Sure. I mean, I, I would say initially I was thinking, oh, I didn't know anybody. So I was like, who's gonna buy? I didn't know anybody. But then I realized I have five friends. So from those five friends, they know another five friends who I don't know. So I started from that. Right. So really with Mary Gay Cosmetics, everything you need to start your business with is already there. You don't need to invent a new wheel. Everything is right there for you. You just connect. As long as you have five friends, you can overcome all the obstacles. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, Nikki, do you have anything to add on to that, please? Right. What I would say is um, you need to be passionate about anything you are doing. Because right. when I originally started, um, I lost my dad that very year. So it puts my business back a bit. And then I wanted to get some loan and then they wouldn't give me the loan. And I thought, you know what, they can go and sit down without the loan. And I started the business because if I was waiting for the loan, probably I wouldn't be here today. That's yeah. right. So you just need to be really passionate about what you want to do and go for it regardless of any obstacles and you'll be fine. As long as God is up there watching over you, you'll be That's fine. That's right. Thank and you. And commit, commitment as well. You have to be committed to, you have to be disciplined. You have to be, be disciplined yes. regardless of what people are saying. Oh, I know somebody is doing that. Well, oh, I know mm. somebody is making cake. Oh, we're selling. Don't oh, worry. Yes. Mm. Focus on what you want. That's what right. do you what is your why? Why are you doing the business? Right. Mm. And Auntie Joy Absolutely. had a why for her to start this this women thing. She has a why. That's why we are here today. Mm. So, what is your why? My why was to make extra income. Yeah. Then I got yeah. more, more recognition more flexibility, more advancement, cars and everything just fall in line with my thank wife. You. Thank you so much, thank you so much. Okay, thank you guys. And I know there's a lot of people saying how the cakes were tempting and trust me, I'm hungry as well. So I think I'll take a break and be driving <laughs> quick to her house to get some cake. But I've seen more people asking, can we have Ching ching for free for attend attend the <laughs> meeting as well, but I don't even think I'm gonna let Nikki answer that. I think I'll answer that myself. Now we are almost ninety five people here. If Nikki goes to give us all of us free cakes, will she have a business? Will she pay her rent? Will she feed her children? Will we lift her up as women that as we're supposed to lift each other up? I don't think so. So no free cakes. <laughs> we well need to said, support Lydia. our sister. <laughs> well said, so thank I'm you. So, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I had to step in now. Okay, now I'll pass it over to Ejiro for our next uh, presenter. Thank you very much. 
Thank you so much. That was really awesome. I can see somebody saying yes, yes, yes. And Nikki says, teaching gallon coffee. So everybody say yes, 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 yes. I'm a yes for that. I know what I'm going to have mine with. Thank you so much, Nikki. Thank you so much, Mojishola. Um, we're suggesting something, and I think um, let's see if we'll agree. If we have a QA session afterwards, everything. Yeah, can we we can possibly think about that so that in case you missed anything and you're trying to access um our first two exhibitors questions. <laughs> you can still write your questions down. Can you all please mute? your can you put your mics on mute please thank you i can i can hear so many i just i just i'm muted i can hear so many counting i muted the person i muted them already i muted them. okay i was gonna say the person can share with us but they have to um stop counting and share the money with us share the money with us later <laughs> later <laughs> thank you so much um moving on we have Oh, we have awesome women here. We have our next um, exhibitor, a next great glorious woman coming up. And um, this woman is going to, I think I'll just leave it because the thing she's going to say is going to be like, okay, wow, are those things, is it still possible for us to get this and get that? But I'll leave her to say what she has in stock for us. Um, her name is Titi Lyo Mio Lua. She was very, very particular about pronouncing her name properly I know that you know she was like it's it's a prayer for you so please make sure you say my say so Titi please I hope I'm doing justice Titi Layomi Olua did I get that right all right and her um Olu Olu Fo Olu Fo Shoe no I, I don't think I'm not bad at pronouncing names I have to be good I'm, I'm sure I'm doing something right here okay um, she's the CEO of Stripes and Strides, which is a multi-brand luxury store, and it stocks all your high-end brands and labels, and it's definitely a luxe blog. So can we have Titi Layomi Olua up, please, honey? Come and do your thing and tell them about all that you have in stock for us. Is she there? Yeah, Titi. Titi Laiomi Lua. I hope we didn't lose her though. Titi. Hello, everyone. Hello, oh, ladies. Titi. Hello to my beautiful moderators. It's great to Hello, be here. Titi. Thank you for having me on board. Can you hear me? Can everyone hear yes. me? Yes, yes, we, we can, can hear you. Okay. Um, my passion, my brand, my passion. I love my job. I love what I do. It makes what I do very easy. My name is Titi Laiomi Olua Olufosui. I'm the CEO of Straps and Strides. Straps and Strides is a multi-brand, multi-brand luxury high-end store. We stock all over Deer Drive, Sloan Street, all the all the high-end, um, all the high-end names, all the high-end designer brands. Now I've, I've always loved fashion big, bold color, daring, imaginative shoes and bags. What you wear can actually change your mood and give you a drive and determination. Have mm. you ever wondered you saunter into a hall or a space and you're wearing this bright red stoning shoes, this bright red heels, and you just have that- um, And red hair, by the way. feel Don't good and everyone, that. Is, everyone is looking, <laughs> you can feel everyone looking at you from the corner of their eyes and you just, mm -hmm have that feel good thing with yourself and then your style your style is dependent on you it mm -hmm. creates your personality mm. so which is why you have to carve out your style and your personality and you can do that with your shoes your bags and even your clothes now where do i come in at um, strap straps and strides we all love um high-end luxury it can be a pinch and it can be a squeeze that's where I come in. Over the years, I built, now let me say, Straps and Strides is 15 years old. I've been doing this for 15 years. It's a niche market. So I built a relationship with brand managers, brands, which gives me an edge. I super negotiate, I super negotiate and bring those labels you love at prices you love. And so we can get you 
we can get you anything you want. You can have like a wish list with us and we can get it to you at a price without a pinch. And guess what? We only do genuine originals. We only do the real deal at straps and strides. And that's what we're known for. We're known for excellent um, customer service. I'll let my slides begin to run and then I'll come back um, to talk to you um, in a second. Are my slides ready? Yes, my darling. Let me just work on them right now because so I can, so everybody just don't shoot me. Don't shoot me if I don't get it right. No, we're not going to shoot you, honey. <laughs> just go for it. It's fine. Because this uh, Instagram and Zoom and whatever you want to call them, they're just <laughs> crazy. I don't know who started all these things. I don't know why they did that. Okay, can you see my screen though? Yes, I can, but I can't. Um... Oh, yes, we can. I think what I must add here quickly is that okay, we I'll are all here until the screen comes and up. And we're learning. Now, we're high fashion can lift here. your mood. It makes a statement for you when you walk into anywhere. So it might be, and then another thing about it is is the durability. I mean, you can you can buy that shoe that you feel the pinch, and you can have it for yonks. I mean, some of these things goes for endless number. I mean, it can last for endless number of years, and most of the things you can always take it back. You can, a lot of the luxury brands you can always take your leather back to be reconditioned. Some of them, they call, you can take it for a letter spa. They take it from you, they clean it, you get it back. So, I mean, we do that service very, very well at um, Straps and Strides. If you buy anything from us, even if your heels came off, we take it back. We have a dedicated suitcase to that. So we give excellent um, customer service and that's really what we're about. And we can get you... Any anything luxury, anything luxury you want at a decent price. Where the deal breaker, I am the deal breaker, I am the lock screen. I can get you that dream bag that seems um out of reach and bring it within your reach. Are the slides ready now? Okay. Hmm. I really would have loved to show a lot of my um, a lot of my pieces, and um, because most things most things we advertise, we have an Instagram page, we have a Facebook page. Most things, there's no hooks at stripes and strides. There's nothing, nothing. I repeat, you see, on our page that we don't physically have um, to give you if you requested for it. And um, if there's anything you even you want, I mean, even a Hermes bag. We can help you get it. Okay, good. It's coming on now. Can you see the slides now? Yes, it's coming on. Can you see them? Yes. 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 Okay, so this is, I'm going to talk you through the slide. Can the sound come on? Basically, my slide is telling you that the essence of my label is to bring the, the things you want for you at very affordable prices. And we do unique high-end luxury brands only at Straps and Strides. It's a niche market. You can follow us on Instagram. You can follow us on Facebook. And then for your photo shoot, you want to look amazing and amazing shoes for your important milestone celebration. Pick up the right Okay, did you see the screen? Yes, but um, the sound wasn't playing. Oh dear. It played towards the end. Maybe if you start again. Okay. All right, Ejiro, Ejiro, 
Ed Giro. Unmute yourself. Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah, so if you love high-end fashion and genuine luxury and you want to have them at Steel Deals, we're here for you. We're happy to have you on board. Look no further. We represent the elegance of our fair tradition. So we're looking forward to your custom at Straps and Stripes. I had prepared um, slides to show you a bit of the sort of things we do at Straps and Stripes. Awesome shoes and bags. I don't know if you can see this. This is a Gianvito Rossi. All manners of blame. It has, it has been a hand. Since my slides are not showing. Roberto Cavalli Python Clutch and 14 centimeters heel. Raw Python. It's got a multi strap to it. It's got a fun handle. Okay, there's no video. That wasn't. It has a chain handle to it as well. So it can be a party bag, it can be a fun. Okay, the slide was supposed to be, um, don't give up. The slide was supposed to be very illustrative, but supposed to show you awesome videos of beautiful shoes and bags. I truly wish you guys had seen it, but not yeah. to worry, you can go on my Facebook page, you can go on my Instagram page, and um, maybe uh, before the end of the session, session yeah. the slides and will come And maybe if we change someone else and while they're trying to sort out that video. Okay, what? Okay. Someone else, maybe Lola can come on. Who is next? Because it would be really nice to show the videos. Yeah. Yes. Edgy Rome, yeah. take over, Edgy please, Rome, my co-host. Okay, darling. Thank you so much, TT. That was great. I know that I know your, your products are awesome. I can I testify for that. So um, I, I hope we're able to rectify the video. You know, the thing I'm going to say is that we're all in the airspace right now and so much is going on. So sometimes these things happen. Um, remember, this is our very first edition of this whole um, online exhibition. So please bear with us. And the reason why we're here is that we're all learning as well. Is a learning call for each and every one of us. So we'll get things sorted and everything will be fine. So bear with us, don't get mad, don't get upset. Just be patient. Some of us are not as techy as some people are. So it's okay. So thank you so much. And I hope we're able to show your video um, before we end it up, okay? Um, moving yeah, and, on, um, we have another great woman. Ejiro, Ejiro, sorry. Before we... Say before we move on, there's a question for a Titi here. It's um, how yes, do you I manage? Or do you, did you see it? How how do you manage to handle your business when it comes to your friends and family, especially when it comes to them asking and expecting discounts? What motivates you to move to move on? Very good. As with every business, um, for, I always say one thing your friends and your family should build your business and not pull your business mm. down. So there's, yeah. there's always that thin line and margin. I, my mantra is friends build. I mean, if I, if I, I will, I always make it a point of duty to patronize my friends when I don't need their services. I advocate th their services to other people. So other people, my mantra is I win, she wins, we all win. So, for discounts, yes, right. we do give discounts to family and friends, five, ten percent. We do give discounts. And another thing I must say that every um, client at Straps and Strides enjoys once in a year, they get to buy things that I actually do direct transfer of discounts to my awesome clients. So if, uh, uh, there's some there's some times they can get like sixty percent on luxury on something they've always wanted with their receipts in the bag. We do that quite often at Straps and Strides when you're very loyal to us. And um, let me use this medium to say thank you to my awesome customers. A lot of them are logged on. A lot of them are, are, are logged on. I'm really nothing without them and um, they make life easy. I mean, I've done this for so long. I, I know, I know I, I, if I pick up these shoes, I know, okay, what client would like this? So I'm like the personal shopper. I'm a personal shopper per excellence. 
So yes, we do give um, discounts at straps. Okay. I like, I like one thing that you said. I mean, I like everything you said, but one just struck me. And I think that is what, as women, we should thrive. And always, before you leave your house, you carry it. Before you talk to anyone, you carry You say, I win, she wins, we all win. We all win. So that, that is the thing. Yeah. That is the thing. That's the thing that we, as women, we win tend to forget and I know there's there's also men actually watching this and when we say women please men don't feel discouraged and say oh it's a women thing let's get out no because as men you have sisters you have a wife and you have a mother so you're representing them so you know that even if you go back and say wow my wife this is what I heard today or my sister or my mom or your daughter as yeah. well so don't feel left out and just Bag it off. No, stay here with us because these women are powerful women. And I like that I win, she wins, and we all win. We so all win. that is what we forget because sometimes we have this feeling of if I support Ejiro, she wins, I lose. But what I always um, wrong. demonstrate is if, we, if you have a candle. Now, if we have only one candle in this room, like the room I'm in right now, I have so many lights and that is where you can see, you can see my lighting. Is my lighting good guys? Is it good? It's hot. It's perfect, honey. It's perfect. Yes. My light is only good because I have so many lights in the house. That's right. If I only had one light, then I'll be in darkness. So if we have a candle and we all have our sister's candles lit up, then we'll see the tunnel, we'll see where we're going. But if you only have one light, one candle, and you're going through the tunnel, come on, you'll bash into things. There, there's an animal that will be coming, you can't see to eat you up. You, a car is coming, it will hit you because it's only you. But if we have so many candles, I win, she wins, we win together we out all of that, win. that tunnel. We all win. So Titi, thank you so much for that. And thank I know you. that... Um, your name means a lot and is so powerful and is strong. And I've always not pronounced it properly, being a Kenyan. And that's not an excuse, being a Kenyan. Because if an Oibo person calls me, the Ole, the Ole, I'll get upset. And I say, come on, that's not my name. So you need to pronounce my name properly. So I'm going to try it. Titi Layo Miolua. Thank you. <laughs> get it right. Get it right. My name is your prayer. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Okay, I'll hand it over to my co-host, Ejiro. Thank you so much, Lydia. I said it looks perfect. You look beautiful as always. Thank you, Titi. Thank you, Ejiro. Thank you so much. Thank you, Titi Laio Miolua. Yes, thank you, you so are, much. I like when you say, um, my name is your prayer. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I like, I was introducing before we had to look into that and um from one of our um guests and um i was i was going to introduce this another great woman who is right on here with us by name lola awoshika lola awoshika is the ceo of, of p2p p2p means um plan to perfection so uh i think when this lady comes on she's going to tell you why she named it that um uh, P2P is an event, you know, and kid is entertainment. So, and, and we know that entails a lot. So can we just um, acknowledge our very beautiful Lola Washika? Lola Washika, can you hear me? Are you there? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you yes, hear me? Honey. I hear okay. you. Okay. Thank yes, you so much, Adriel. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Lydia. And I want to say a huge thank you to Sister Joy for bringing all these women together. Um, thank you for everyone that is watching as well. Um, as you've heard, my name is Lola Awoshika. I am the CEO for P2P Events. Uh, it's an uh, event outfit, which means plan to perfection. I will talk about that shortly, but just to give you a little bit of a background uh, about me, um, I used to be a business development manager and a HR consultant. Um, and on the side, I used to work as a children's party entertainer and I've been in the entertainment industry for 28 years. Uh, nine years ago, I moved away from the, well, moved into the 
planning um, industry alongside entertainment. And a few years ago, I went full time into the event planning industry. And that was because I was made redundant and I thought I wanted to work for myself. So I've always been an entrepreneur for years, for almost 30 years now. So um, P2P, Plan to Perfection, was birth um, out of frustration in a way that I always used to attend um, parties for children's parties or weddings for friends and family. And I realized that everything was obviously all over the place and they spent so much money but wasn't well organized. And I used to find myself with all my regalia on, dipping my hands into the deep end and getting things sorted out for them. And I realized it was actually a gift and a passion. And from then on, I just started doing it for friends and family and then it just became a business. And that's how I went into it. So I thought, well, you'll plan so much, but if you don't plan, it won't become perfect. So it's always planning to perfection to make your day a perfect day. So I'm going to share my slides, if that's okay. Can I do that? Yeah. Yes. Okay, one second. Just give me, whoops, one second. Just bear with me for a second. Um, okay. So I'm just going to go to, right. Can you see anything on the screen yet? Yes. 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 Okay. So just to give you a bit of a background of who we are uh, as in P2P events, um, what we uh, stand for, what we offer, uh, what we offer was obviously, um, and also um, the type of events and weddings that we do as well. So I'm going to come back and talk about that. I'm just going to quickly show you what we do um, from in P2P events first. Okay, right, so here we go. P2P events, P2P events, an outfit of services. Can you hear the video? It is unique yes. and exclusive, bringing creativity, fun, excitement, productive planning and perfection to any event. This includes weddings, traditional and modern, birthday parties, product and business launches, festivals, outdoor events, conferences, seminars, fashion shows, trade shows, just to mention a few. As an event consultant, P2P events team are very personable and passionate about the quality of delivery of service, paying special attention to detail. The open secret is our success. Services span the globe for destination events, catering to corporate and private clients, including consultancy, public sector events, management ranging from commercial to bespoke luxury packages tailored to specific needs. P2P offer a six stage process to bring your concepts and dreams to reality by planning to perfection. Client consultations and meetings, follow up, phone calls and correspondence, event design and implementation, planning and scheduling, vendor meetings and providing high quality experience vendors, event day coordination. We believe any challenge is an opportunity to infuse a creative slant to your event, thereby making it absolutely unique. No event is too small or big for P2P events looking for someone to take the stress away while you relax on your special day then look no further p2p events are here to turn your event into an exclusive and unique reality our excellent service of event planning for weddings bespoke birthday parties corporate events destination events and charity events to suit your needs go beyond your imagination and dreams your day will be memorable as we planned to perfection P2P events are based in Maidervale, London, UK. However, we span the globe for all events. Contact us on 07951 696 102. Email us info at p2p-events.co.uk or follow us on Instagram at p2p underscore underscore events. Right, okay. Can you still hear me? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, okay. 
So that's that's what P2P events is all about. And what we usually do um, as an event planner, we help you plan your event from birth, from the beginning, from conception to execution. And we take away the stress of whatever you have to do, be it a birthday party, a corporate event, a charity event, or wedding. Uh, we specialize mainly in luxury and bespoke weddings and bespoke events as well. Um, but we do um, take on any small budgets, big budgets, whatever your budget is, we'll work around it. One other thing that we do that is very key is that we source venues. We have been affiliated and become PSLs, which is like preferred suppliers to a particular hotels in London and also um, some venues as well. We have great negotiating power. So if you want to do an event and you find a great venue and the price is a bit high, as an event planner, we tend to be able to get the prices cheaper than what they'll give to you. So once you book us, you're able to get cheaper prices, um, well, less price than what the actual price is. And we also use top-notch vendors in the UK. And I say top-notch and I say that proudly um, because it's important that you're your event is actually planned to perfection. Um, we also encourage and take on board new um, vendors. I might be taking on board Nikki, who just from her lovely cakes that I've seen today. Um, so we'll be having a meeting after this um, to see that we probably make her one of our, our cake specialists as well within the um, um, company. Now we have a great team. The team are very passionate about what they do. Um, they work very well and they make sure that every guest that comes to your event is actually looked after properly. Um, for example, we allocate each team member to a table or two, and it all depends on your budget as well. But regardless of your budget, we also have our team on ground to look after your guests. So it's not just about you, but it's also about your guests at your events as well. So more or less, we're taking away the stress completely from you um, and also making your day a memorable day. So like I said, we, we source vendors, we source venues, we provide a consultation, we facilitate your day, we make your wedding package, we have a wedding package design, we design it for you. Um, if it's just a corporate event, we do the same thing. So it more or less A to Z in a nutshell. Um, if you come to us, you're guaranteed, and I say that with so much passion, you're guaranteed that your event will be a success. Now, have we had challenges before? Yes, but it's about you know, getting over the challenge, which I might be able to answer later on. Um, but what I also want to say is um, encourage a few of us ladies, as it's obviously it's about networking and bringing ladies together, um, especially those that have just started their businesses, is to take in charge of all these four things that I've put I don't know on. what is going on. You need to mute your phones, please. Uh, okay. Okay. You need to mute everybody, please. This is Janna. Yeah. Okay, can you unmute me, please? Hello? And um, mute, mute yourself. And mute yourself, please. Um, okay, let me just unmute. I'll unmute no. myself. Yeah, just unmute yes, yourself. Just please. unmute yourself. We can hear you. We can hear, hear you. We can hear you. Can you can hear me now? We can, yeah, we can hear, hear you. you. Okay, right. Okay. Yeah, so the, I just wanted to encourage other ladies that are on the, on the platform, be it business or whatever you're doing, is the first thing is to obviously have a vision. If you have a vision of what you want to do, you should write your vision down. Once you've written your vision down, keep revisiting that vision. Um, that would motivate you to actually achieve what you've written down. So visit it, probably pray over it, even if you're not ready, make sure you know what you're doing. Second thing is about having a structure in place. So a structure of what you want to do. Put the, obviously the structure is to arrange and organize what you plan to do, be it a business, be it your lifestyle, whatever. And then third one is obviously strategy. So strategy is obviously a high level of planning to make sure that you execute or you achieve your goals. So once that strategy is also put in place, um, and then you'll be able to achieve your goal at the end of, at the end of the day, so for you to execute it. So please think about those four things. That's very important for any business that you do, and you will definitely achieve what you've put down. But most importantly is believing in yourself, having the passion, 
if you fail, get up again and keep going. Because when you fail, it's room for improvement. When you don't do well, it's room for improvement. Encourage yourself, reward yourself, get feedback. Positive criticisms is very important. The feedback will help you um, do better at whatever you want to do and review yourself as well. Be honest with yourself in business. And if you do that, you'll be able to succeed. Don't look around at what other people are doing in the sense. You can do that in terms of just positive competition or positive feedback or positive um, ideas, but don't try and copy somebody else. Be your unique self and that will make you succeed. So that's all for me. My name is Lala Awashika. I am the CEO of P2P Events. Please follow us on Instagram. It's P2P underscore underscore two underscores events. Um, and also I'll put my details in the chat room as well. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lola. Thank you. Thank you. Let me come off the, the sharing bit. Yeah. Okay, thank you so that. much. Yes. Um, thank you. So just stop sharing. Well done. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm just stop you. sharing, right? Okay, good. Thank you. Thank okay. you so much, Lola. That was very yes. informative thank and you. very, very interesting as well. Very educational. Thank you very much for that. And I like the fact that at the end of your presentation, you also had a business plan for us. <laughs> so thank you very much for the business plan that you had for us. And also, like when we were speaking before, you did say, you did talk about procrastination last yes. time. Yes. And uh, I find out that a lot of things that hold us back, especially as women, we procrastinate a lot because we have, sometimes we have so many things doing. You're doing this, you're doing this, you're doing this. You lose focus. That's right. So there are some people who can actually attend to 10 things at the same time, but there are some people who cannot. And that's why also when you say that, don't look at what someone else is doing, but look at your own strength because someone else might have, 10, 10 different um, um, masses for strength. That's right. But you don't. So I think when you have so many things, you have to be productive in what you're doing. So if you can only be productive in one, then that's fine. Nobody's going to judge you that she's only doing one thing and so-and-so is doing 10 things because people are different. And that's why they always say that all our five fingers, they're all different sizes, different, but they all serve a purpose. So provided you're serving a purpose of why you're on this earth, then you're doing something good with your life, with your purpose. So yeah, thank you very much. And I'll hand it over to Ejiro again to introduce our next guest. Thank you so much. I must say thank you so much, Lola. You know, I'm, I mean, when we're all trying to get this together, we're like, oh, we're not sure how we're going to do this. How do we share our screen? How we do this? How do we do that? We're all learning and it can only get better. That's one thing That's I know. Right. So, well done, everyone. You know, it's been awesome. You can imagine we we'll do this next month, another month. I think we'll all be a pro by the time we're done in trying to present our businesses and trying to make sure that um, we know what we're doing. So thank you so much, Lola. That was really good. Well done. Well I'd like done. to say something quickly, sorry. Um, yes. Just for those who have events coming up in 2021, there is a 50% discount. So it's valid till Ooh. November. So if you have a date, even if you haven't really confirmed the date, just get in touch with us. And 50% is a huge amount off. So Ooh, give us a call. Huge. We'll book you in and we'll mark it down for the 50% discount. So thank you. Wow. Thank you Hi, for that. Lola. Did you say 50%? Can you say that again? Did you say 50%? 50%, yes. Wow. Wow. Now, so any event, if you book before November 30th, this year, for 2021 event, you will get a 50% discount. So wow. the offer ends on the 30th of November. Okay, mm. I'm gonna come up with that. I'm gonna come up with an event. I'm gonna come up with something so that I can. Oh. <laughs> so that I can give you a Probably I already do my birthday or something. I don't know what it is. The kids' birthday, something. Anyway, something. Thank you so much, Lola. I'm sure a lot of ladies are smiling there. Oh, a lot of our guests are all smiling. I'm like, hmm. I think I'd have to get a, a hold of that. You know. Oh, oh, somebody fact, asking, is 50% just for those in um, um, WBA or it's for all? Somebody just asked that question now. 
Is it for just those in women business arena or is it for any, everyone? It's, it's everyone actually, it's not just WBA. So like I said, it's open till the 30th of November. So if you have an event for 2021, give us a call. If you have an event between now and, I, I did a wedding yesterday anyway for 30 guests. So if you have an event between now and November, you never know, there might be some sort of discount. However, for the 2021, it's 50%, but it's valid up till the 30th of November this year to book it. Wow. Honey, your phone is your phone is gonna be buzzing very soon. Trust well, me on that one. Definitely. Mm, we'll mm. be expecting the calls. Mm. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so well, much. Well. That's really exciting. That's something to cheer all of us up this evening. Thank you so much. Um moving on. Edgiro. Another great yes. Edgiro, sorry, before you move on, somebody was asking what's the Facebook name of Stripe and Strides. Somebody was asking that question. Straps and stripes. So if you can write your e uh, TT. If you can write all your details down there, please, from your phone number to your e to your email address to your uh, Facebook, uh, yeah. Instagram, everybody, uh, all the women who are presenting, can you please write your details down? It's very important so that somebody who wants your contacts can easily get you. Thank you very much. Okay, Edro, moving on. Okay, thank you. I was gonna say, Lydia, I, I cannot see myself on Facebook. I don't know what's going on, but <laughs> it's all right. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So I'm um, going to introduce another great, another really great woman here. Um, another Amazon, one of us. And her name is Temitope Fadeyomi. Temitope Fadeyomi. She's the visionary and the founder of Paravine Surprises. I don't know why I like the sound of that, because I'm a big surprise person. Honey, you you want to get me just surprised. Me. Do something for me that's way out of this world. So Please note that she was a visionary founder of Paravine Surprises, and the focus really is to just create lasting memories of joy that is going to exceed expectation and bring a lot of joy to your heart. So please welcome Temito Padeyomi as she does her presentation, or she tells us what she wants. She doesn't have to have a presentation, but just tell us what she's all about, what um private surprises is all about so Ryan, thank you very much are you there honey can you hear us yes i can clearly oh hi yes. i saw you hello hello, hello. hello. Hi. 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 hello everybody thank you for joining um can i just appreciate god for this opportunity i do not take it for granted um i can't i think about three weeks ago um sister joy i, I think that was when i contacted you or something, someone just sent it to me and I just thought, whoa, anything about women, I'm willing to join because Absolutely. it's always good for women to be together and empower for positive purpose. Because a lot of people do come together for negative reasons and we don't fulfill our True. purposes. So this, I think it's a great idea. Sister Joy, can I just encourage you, you're doing it. You did a fantastic um, job to bring everybody together. Um, and I just want to say thank, um, you. thank you for everybody that has joined. A few of my friends are online. At least two most important ones that I want them to be here tonight are here because I'm going to actually talk about them as I talk about Paravan Surprises. So um, basically, I didn't really prepare. So silly me, I was actually pinching myself when P2P was presenting. That was an amazing presentation. I think I need to come for training P2P. I just <laughs> told me how you did that presentation. It was really good. Well prepared. Well done. Um, Having surprises, what do I say? My name is Tope. I just wanted to point out one thing that um, when I was asked to, to send my pictures and you know talk about private surprises, I could only I didn't want to put CEO because I don't really see myself as a CEO. Um, there's a quote I see recently, you know, you know, being a leader is not a title, but it's something that you have to act and really show that role. So um so I call myself as a visionary because how Paravine Surprises was birthed was through the Holy Spirit. Uh, if I have a lot of Christians here, can you say hallelujah? Um, hallelujah. It was through, thank you. God bless you. It was hallelujah. birthed through, um, it was birthed through, uh, uh, through Holy Spirit. And that was true um, during the lockdown. Um, so obviously lockdown started in March. And throughout the April, 
you know, I had a very, my very, 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 my, my best friend. I don't even call her best friend. She's my sister. She's online now, patients. We're always talking about how to get herself, you know, better, how to do things and all that. Um, so, but I realized there was a day I, I had a vision and it was just what I had passion for. And one of my two, one of my passion, well, well, one of the two major things in my passion is to put a smile on people's faces. I love to make people happy. In fact, you could take all my money for as long as you're smiling and I'm not adding to any pain to you. That really makes my day. So when anybody hurts me, it really, you know, it goes down. I'm very, very sensitive when anybody hurts me. So I, you know, I disconnect immediately. So when I, I try all my best to give my all in order to make people happy. So that's how Paravine Surprises was birthed. Mm -hmm. And um, so when it was birthed, I didn't know what to do to it. And that was in May. Um, nobody was really into it except for one person on the whole of Instagram in UK. Um, so, you know, it was something that I'd always, always thinking about in throughout last year. I didn't even know that I'd mentioned it to somebody until she told me, oh, this is really good. You actually found your niche. Because if you know me, I'm a very quiet person. So for me to be doing this, coming out to the limelight and all that, it was actually a... A, 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 a line to cross which I know God helped me with so talking to you I'm facing you right now doing a live program you know I had to build up that courage when it became my turn because I was turning on the, the, the camera on and off but when I realized that when I was doing this when I go out to see people I, I could care less about what anybody feel as long as I was focused on what I was doing and um, you know I put that smile and my clients are always satisfied um, to the glory of God I've never for once got any negative report except for my close friends that will tell you that will tell me oh Toppa you should have done this this is better oh you should have done that so I get the um, the 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 what's the word um, positive criticism I was yeah saying. the criticism for my close yeah. friends because you know they're they're in the position to do positive. that anyway but anyway my clients are also open to let me know where I'm not you know doing right and all that because I have other businesses that I do but I'm not putting so much effort in but in this God has just made it so easy for me because it's something I have passion about and so paravine if I just let you know what the meaning of paravine is it means fruitful vine in Hebrew hmm fruitful vine so I just wow. added surprises um it wasn't um registered before but now it's registered so I just want to mention another friend of mine here um she's a she's a career coach she helps me to build it off her name is talking about fashion Run. she's a writer and she's an encourager as well and my other friend here patient Sidoni J is good I want to specifically say when you have good friends with you please stick to them because they come in handy when you need them. There's a friend for a season. There's a friend for for every season, you know, but they've been really helpful. So I just wanted to mention that. And also um, encourage somebody. You never know what you have until you put it into action. God has put so much into us, we women, that we do not even know. Uh, when I was listening to Nikki, when she was talking about her baking, I just thought, you know, she, it was in her DNA and she didn't really realize it. So um, I just want to say... Um, I don't know if I could, you could go to my Instagram page. So Paravin Surprises, we surprise people. We bring smiles to your faces. Um, when you want to surprise anybody, um, EJ, you said you, you're you waiting for somebody to surprise you. I wish I knew all your close friends. So if you if I knew all your close friends, there's a way I would talk to them and they will plan a surprise for you. And trust me, you will be, you'll, you would love it. Um, I'm getting better. I'm not where I want to be yet, but I know I will get there by God's grace. And so we aim to put a, a lasting memory in the hearts of every, every of our customers or clients or celebrants. Um, we do birthdays, we do anniversaries, we do proposals, we do kiddies. We've got kiddies package. I've just added that to our menu. Um, um, so if there's anything you want to do when it comes to surprising people, I'm here to give you ideas. I also love to plan events. So when uh, P2P was talking, I knew what she was talking about. I love to help people to plan events, but I've just not put that into business yet. So I wish I could share pictures. I actually sent a message to Lydia earlier if I could send, you know, share my pictures of what I've done so far. But you could kindly please check our page um, and you'll see quite a lot of things we've done in the last um, 
three, four months because we started in June to the glory of God. So any questions, I'm here to answer. I'm sorry, I don't have any presentations for you, but um, actually surprises actually speaks for itself. And I hope you're encouraged. So if you're aiming to book any surprise or surprise any loved one, please let us know. Thank you, God bless you. Thank you so much. Bravo. Bravo. Thank you so much, Tamita. Did you just say you didn't have any presentation? <laughs> you just had the presentation. That's it. You just spoke from your heart. And that's, yes. that's that's presentation enough. Okay. So you did you did just what you needed to do. Um I'm I trying think, to see if we have any questions. Yes, Lydia, are you going to say something? Yeah, I just wanted to say something about the beautiful lady who just uh, gave us a surprise. You know what? I, when I was listening to her, I think the reason why she was just flowing, flowing is because she's a leader, because leaders are born, they're not made. So no. she was talking from her heart because she is yeah. a true leader. You understand? So well done, my darling. Thank you very much. That was Thank excellent. You. Thank you so much. Yes. And um, I don't no, know if you've seen this. Company. That's what she. Pardon? Okay. Somebody said uh, something. Somebody said something. Okay. Okay. Maybe, um, no, next, maybe the network is not so stable on that end, but I heard somebody trying to say wow. something. Yeah, about a company or something. Okay. All right. Anyway, moving on. Um, I, I, w when all these beautiful women were talking, there's some some things you know that we need to pick up. But reading at the reading uh, comments as well, I don't know, Edgar, if you've seen somebody or three or four people say they want to change their name. Actually, somebody's name is Denise, <laughs> and she says she wants to change her name from Denise. To uh, Titi Olo, to Titi's name. Let me go again and say the whole name. And I'm thinking, my daughter Titi is called Denise. Lua. My daughter is called Denise. Denise is actually a good name. Can you please keep your name? Please don't no, change No, 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 no. That is a blessed name. Denise means God is of one. This one means God is with you. I will take exactly. the other one. Please. Thank you. Exactly. So let's keep both names, please. Okay. Thank you very much. And yes. Ejiro, passing over to you. I just wanted to say that as well. Yes, yes. That's some, um, I mean, I was really, in, I've been so inspired by all our wonderful ladies who have presented. And I believe that you all are now, let's realize something. We're all doing different things. Yeah. And um, our purpose and our vision is different. Sometimes they can be similar. So if they're similar, then you just bounce off each other and just know how you're going to expand or grow or be better in what you do. But I think the most important thing is staying focused and understanding your purpose. When you understand your purpose, that way you're on the right lane. You don't get distracted by what the next person is doing or what the other person is not doing. You stay sorry, focused and sorry, to sorry, what you sorry. I forgot to say something. Um, yeah, sure, I, go ahead. On my first presentation on the group chat, I actually gave a 10% discount to every WBA so if I get any referrals or anybody or anybody give me contacts from um, from WBA, you get an extra five percent. So in total, fifteen percent from everybody in WBA. Wow, awesome! That's so awesome. Please, for all the people who are on and listening, about eighty-four people, please put the surprise together for me by contacting me top air and giving me a surprise that would be amazing thank you very amazing. much for being so sweet <laughs> lady, lady, lady ej lady, lady ej <laughs> hello can i just say something quickly this is lola yes go ahead okay tell me top air, i heard what you said about the planning and you're not there yet but you know what you could contact me we could collaborate and you could get to learn a bit more and then you know fly out that's good. Oh, thank oh you. My God. Who was that? Who was do that? Sorry. That's do you Lola. know what? Lola. Oh, thank you. Lola, Lola just said something. We can all do one huge, massive worldwide collaboration. How does that sound? Yes. Amazing. Amazing. Yes. Amazing. <laughs> that would and be good. Yes. Amazing. And that is why, okay, Denise is clapping as well. I wasn't going to talk to that Denise at all because my daughter's name is Denise and she wanted to change her name. <laughs> so I wasn't going to talk to Denise, but because of who I am, I'll talk to Denise. 
Thank you, Denise. <laughs> Denise is clapping, actually. Well yeah, done. Well, well done. <laughs> and we also have somebody who asked a question. So I don't really know who this question was um, directed to, but I'll just read it. So all the ladies that did the presentation, if one person can just come and um, answer that. Uh, the person said, what help did you qualify for to get help from your government in your business? So I'll repeat that again. Mm. What help did you get? What qualification did you get to get help from your, from your government to help you with your business? So anybody want to answer that? Anybody who has been helped by the government or by another body, it doesn't have to be government or probably collaborated with someone else who held the ladder for them or you held ladder for each other? No, uh, for, with my business, you don't need um, big capital to start with. Mm -hmm. So I didn't actually need any help from the government. If you don't have capital to start, you can help, get help from your family member, from, probably from your husband or take a loan from the bank or, or take use of, you know, overdraft to start because you only need a little amount of money to start the business. Okay. Because right. what I've realized as well, just to top up that question, what I've realized as well, if you want to start your business, I know capital is always a problem, but there are some bodies that if you go to them for help, especially government, I would say, they'll own you. They'll own your business. So they'll tell you, go right. But at that time, because this is your business, you want to go left, but they'll tell you to go right. If you don't go right, you're living under their mercy. So if you want to start a business, that is just my personal view. If you want to start a business, at least even if you have to like somebody like a Moji Sola say, a family or friends or whoever can help you. But if you go to a government who now wants to totally own you and control your own business, I don't think personally it's a good idea. But again, at the end of the day, it depends with the, the um, it, it depends with how big or how small your business is. But going to the government personally, is a no-go area because then they will own you and they will claim you and you will not have anything for yourself. Can I can I also come in there if that's okay? Yeah, um, that's fine. In, in some businesses, um, there are fundings for some types of businesses within the government structure. Not all businesses, like Mojisela said, in that kind of um, industry, there won't be funding. Um, in our industry, as event planners, there's no funding, uh, but there's some industries that do have fundings for maybe business startup, uh, business setup, you know, small business in the local um, council, local government areas. So people can look into that. I didn't get any help from the government, but what I want to say is don't rely on that. Like I said before, if you have a plan, have a vision, motivate yourself, and then you can do your research. If there's any funding related to your industry, Check it. If it's grants, go for it. Um, but it's not all businesses. So there's some that have the funding structure attached to them. Okay, somebody, the, the same person who asked the question actually came back to my private. And she said it's regards to the COVID-19. So um, this is the, the government uh, grant or funding that was there for the, or the loan that was there for the COVID-19. So um, I'll say for that question, if you can please either inbox me or inbox uh, Ejiro or inbox Joy, so we'll get back to you on that one, okay? We'll get back to you on that one. So you can inbox myself, Ejiro or Joy, and we'll get back to you on that one. We'll get somebody professional who can help you because I know we have lawyers here. I know I've seen um, Olu, Olu who is a lawyer. So we can actually because we don't want to say something that we're not 100% sure, we give you a lawyer, somebody who is actually qualified in dealing with this. And that's, I think that's the best way forward. And we know a lawyer who is actually on this forum. Her name is Olu, I've seen her already. So Olu, if you're listening to this as well, we're going to give you the contacts of the lady and I'm sure you're going to help her because you've helped so many other women already. <clears throat> so I hope that answered your question, my dear lady. Thank you very much. Okay, Ejiro, do you want to say something before I introduce one beautiful lady here? Yeah, um, I think what we're saying how we're saying all we need to say is just great that we're all here encouraging each other. The, remember that one of the purpose of this, it was not just to 
um, advertise and talk about our business was also to just encourage, you know, each other and to propel each other, knowing that th 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 these times have been so unprecedented, hasn't it? Really hard. A lot of people found it difficult coping. Our mental health was in check, you know. So it's nice that we can gather together and we can speak positivity into what it is that we're laying our hands to do. And I think that's awesome. If that's the only thing we even achieved today or this evening, I think that's perfect. So we're here also to just encourage each other, uplift each other and saying, hey woman, you're not alone. I'm here, I'm thriving. I'm trying to do what I need to do. I have a family, I have a job, probably a career. And I also have my business on this side, but hey, um, if you can do it, I can do it. Now, some people will feel, oh, other people are more established than I am. How do I go about this? Remember, never despise your beginning. So if you aim to want to thrive, to be bigger, and you see somebody who is already on the platform on this forum who's doing great things, please do not hesitate to hook up. Ask them. I love what Timita said. She said, you know what, Lola, I'm going to hook up with you. You have to teach me how you did your presentation. So do not hesitate to reach out for help, to ask how it's done, how can you improve, and what do you need to do? And if you've not even thought about going on this, then you can actually say, you know what, I, I, I just, I love sewing. I like knitting. I love to garden. I love to do anything. When it country people like gardening. You can even start planting flowers. People, whatever it is you want to do, don't feel like it's too small or it might not mean anything. No, it doesn't matter. So I encourage you to go for it and you will have help on the way. I'm here. Lydia's there. Joy's there. We'll help. I'm learning too. Trust me, I am. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank and you. thank you everybody as well. Thank you, Ajira. Thank, thank you, you so much. We actually have somebody called Julie. You see this platform, oh joy. I, if I see you, I'll give you a thousand kisses, a thousand surprises, <laughs> I don't know what I'll do. Because we also have a lady I'm here. I'm hugging you already. I'm oh, hugging you already. I love hugs, sunshine hugs, thank you. <laughs> we have a lady here called Julie. And uh, we have Julie. Julie here said, I can also direct with regards to sourcing for funding to uh, what if I will be your first client in fact take that <laughs> comment out of public please I'll be your first client <laughs> so Julie also say she can actually direct in sourcing for funding that so I'll ask Julie for her number Julie can you please put your number there as well then please put your number there so we can um anybody who wants to get in touch with Julie can get in touch with her please Julie can we have your details please okay so yes your details, yeah, for, please. Just, just, yeah, just to cover it. I'm, 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 okay. okay, that is somebody with a mobile phone next to the app, uh, laptop. That's why we're hearing that feedback. Okay, thank you very much. Now, I always say, when, when uh, Moji Sola said something, she said, I um, when she was working, when she was a nurse, it was always, she does something. You, you personally, you feel like you've done something good, but it was you could have done more. You should do this. So there was no appreciation. There was no thank you, and that also yeah. was one of the things that pushed her, inspired her to go and start her own business. Because every single one of us on this earth, we need to feel appreciated. First of all, by yourself, and if you feel appreciated, if you appreciate yourself then you can take a bold step because I know some people say, yeah, but how can I, how can I live if I live this? How can I survive if I live this? And I always say that, look, you need to be your own boss and being your own boss means to be kind. Yes. Being your own boss means to say, I am here and I am in control. But at the same time, you're not bossy. You are kind, but you have to feel appreciated. So that touched me when uh, uh, Moji Sola said that, because she was never appreciated. Do you know how hard nursing is, guys? Nursing is so hard, especially in this season of COVID. We saw nurses, we saw a lot of nurses lost their lives. A lot of doctors lost their lives. And that's because they have passion and they've given themselves out to that's help right. us. That's they right. were not even, they said every Thursday, come out and clap for the nurses at 8, 8 p.m., which I did. But does that pay their rent? No. Does that 
put food on the on the table no they were not appreciated the way they were meant to be appreciated so if you're working so hard and nobody appreciates you come on you need you know it's time for me to do something and that you can only do that something if you appreciate yourself so that um when i had that phrase i was like yeah and also faith goes work and faith they go hand in hand you cannot be lazy and say i'm going to pray at the mountains 40 day fasting i'll pray 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 <laughs> you come back in the house you're sleeping you're eating and sleeping and gossiping and phoning blah blah that's not how it works that's not how it works and it's time for us women to help each other you can go to the mountains and pray but when you come back work because faith and works they go hand in hand together. absolutely okay. Exactly. And you cannot also work and work and forget God because that doesn't work either. Even the Bible says they go together. And I love what um, Mary Kay said. What their, their slogan is God, first. family, and work. Third, yeah. So it's not work first. It's mm -hmm. not uh, family first. In everything you do, you have to have God in the middle. Second is your family. We also what happened with COVID-19. And I know that we'll be, I think maybe we should leave that for another day because when I start talking about things like this, I'll talk until tomorrow. So I'll leave that <laughs> for another day because Joy will tell me, Lydia, that's not why we're here today. That's for another day. And I'll leave that for another day because yes. as women, <laughs> yeah, we have to encourage each other. We have to stand with each other and, and uh, teach each other because nobody knows it all the only day you stop learning is when you're six feet under as long as you're still alive thank you denise <laughs> as long as you're still alive we learn every day and also what i also put down is when when um lola was talking and she gave us a business plan at the end we need to inspire yourself what she said is she stepped out let me give you some, uh, 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 before I introduce my edgy role, because I'm going to introduce edgy role, but I have to say something. Now, we have, you. everybody has a gift and a talent. Oh Go and God. see somebody's house. There are some houses you enter, you're scared to walk because that house is super clean. That person cleans their house thoroughly. Their house is always clean, but yet they have no job because they're looking for office job. They're looking for this job. They're looking for the, your 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 um concern your focus is in the wrong place you are ignite you can clean why don't you start your own cleaning company wear those gloves go and start and then as you start slowly by slowly you will employ other people because we have to start from somewhere you and then you also teach those people how to clean i would like those cleaners to come and clean my house my house is messy so i'm not that clean person like that but you, we have people like that. So you have to be inspired. Get out and do something. You like doing makeup. When you do your makeup, before you get out, everybody's asking you, how much did you pay for that? You did your makeup yourself. So start that. That can be your business. You understand? And also, you like dancing. I love dancing. There are dancing jobs out there. You can dance. My daughter does a lot of dancing videos and she gets paid. You can dance and get paid. You do hair. You do your hair really, really nice, but yet you don't have a job. There are jobs out there for us. You need to just pray and focus on your talent and your gift. Don't focus on Ejiro. You can never be Ejiro. Don't focus on Moji Sola. You don't focus on joy. You are who God created you to be. You are the best version of God's creation. Okay, so okay now and do not believe in predictions that don't don't empower you don't believe in any prediction that don't empower you and don't allow anybody to project their fears on you no 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 because if you allow people to project their fears on you you'll be walking like this uh -huh. because your fear is here Anthony's fear is here Angela's fear is here every fear is on you because you've allowed yourself to be used as a vessel of fear so don't allow anybody to project their fears on you somebody said I don't know if it was Moji Moji Sola who said it and said somebody will tell you oh you cannot do it that is fear yes you try can it. don't yes, try it can. yes you can try it 
Yeah. Oh, but remember last time you did it, you failed. And so what? Fail, exactly. get up, dust yourself and go. That's that right. is how we should be. That is your mentality. That Absolutely. is your every day. When yes. you wake up, remember your life is a story. You need Absolutely. to write it well. You need That's to right. say it well. Right. You need That's to play right. it well. Do not That's allow right. anybody to write your story. Do not That's allow right. anybody to play your story. Do not allow right. anybody to go through the, your own journey. Go yeah. through that journey yourself, guys. Right. It's time Come for on. women to wake up and yes. grab that cup. Let us go up together. Let us grab up the ladder for each other Absolutely. guys this is thank time you, thank you stand so much up. thank yes. you yes let me know yes. let me just finish that Beautiful. we need to hear thank that you. we need welcome. to hear that thank you so Ejiro. much let me welcome my Ejiro, my co-host Ejiro, because this woman has done wonders i don't even have to say it you can just <laughs> when we are talking on the side google this woman and you'll be like what did we have this woman in this platform why didn't oh I take her number? Goodness. This oh, is a incredible. woman that you need to know, guys. You need to know her. And when you know her, do not misuse her. Treat her well, <laughs> and she will treat you well. Thank you very much, Ejiro. Thank you so very much, Lydia. You are so sweet. Thank I am you. so humbled, honestly, to be in the midst of you all this evening, tonight is, is really a dream come true for me. Now, one thing that excites me is you. Women excite me, people excite me, families excite me. I'm excited for women because I have had opportunity to work with them and teach them and train them and um, listen to them and hug them and cry with them. I've just done so much with women. So I always say I'm a woman's woman, okay? So my name is AJ Roll. Daniele Bogidi. I am a speaker, presenter, an events compare, a host. And um, this has always been my line, my strongest point is communication. I can talk to you from now to that kid come, I'll listen to you, I will uh, share with you. So that's my line. Now, um, Frontal Consult was birthed out of that. So you can see behind me, I have Frontal Consult logo. Frontal Consult was better out of that. Now, Frontal Consult is a media and communications um, firm. So what we do is just exactly what I do, is to really help you communicate, help you on your personal growth and development journey, which is very important to each and every one of us because I listen to every woman here who had spoken and to a lot of you, a whole 85, 90 something of you, wherever you're logging in from, and I know that we all have one thing in common. We all have a personal growth and development journey. We will not get to where we are if we do not train ourselves, if we do not discipline ourselves, if we do not speak to ourselves, if we do not understand ourselves, if we do not know our vision and our purpose. So that is what we do. We help you to, to broaden that vision, to help you understand what it is you're doing how you're going to communicate, how you're going to personally grow yourself first before you start even growing your business, how you can just expand and just be the best version of you. So my whole, I, I don't really have, this is what, I, this is what I'm going to say everywhere. Um, we just build you up to help you to attain and achieve your potential for you to communicate effectively, for you to understand your growth and your journey for you to be able to um, win at the end of the day and achieve and attend that God-given um, destiny and purpose in which you set out to do. So um, I'm just going to run a video. I have, I have a short sleep. I, I have my whole um, company profile, but I don't think I'm gonna go through that because we really spent a lot of time, okay? Um, so I'll just do the, the video quickly. Um, so you can just run the video for me if it's there if it's not going to show that's absolutely fine as well <laughs> as well like i said we're all learning in this so um Lita, did it come through can you like no i that's my that's, I, I couldn't just share anything today i'm so sorry okay. ladies that's absolutely fine so um basically we are just going to help you with your events in terms of facilitating hosting and um training um, Frontal does a lot of training in terms of um, skill acquisition, 
and in terms of understanding your communication skills, in terms of being able to communicate effectively, in terms of supporting individuals and organizations, you know, corporate organizations as well, to train their um, executives, leaders, or even individuals, you need that, that personal individual journey. Trust me, you do, um, because it's very important. People find it difficult to get on with people. You need to understand that, that you need to train yourself in how you deal with people. If you have a business, you have a business now, you have all her different businesses, you need to understand how you deal with your clients, how you communicate with your clients. I was sorry the other day and the the lady who received us was oh I, I was really sweet with her but the other person who was with me was very upset because she came across as very rude she was not attending to us properly she was speaking over us and it was getting highly irritable uh, but I was okay with that but the, the other person we was not and I said it doesn't matter it's just her level of her understanding she needs to know that she is the she is the face of the company and how she communicates with us is going to go a long way if we're going to enjoy our food come back there or continue with 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 you know with their services so um control is going to help you to understand that it's going to help you to um evaluate what it is you're doing and how to communicate and how to be able to pass across your message your vision your purpose to whoever it is you're trying to do that with, okay? I really pray that um, next time we can run the video, then you just see the kind of um, what I've done so far. I've been privileged to work with great people. Um, like I said earlier, women, which is my passion, families. And I've also um, been fortunate to be on platforms with, um, of course, we know the, the 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 popular, you know, Bill Gates. We had this event where we had to do a routine um, immunization check in collaboration with my country's um, Ministry of Health with the Bill Gates Foundation, which was great. And to be called upon to host that event, to speak at that event was absolutely magnificent. It was really outstanding for me to be able to stay there with those men and speak and express myself and contribute. I have been opportunate to do work with my country's um, president, you know, the presidency. I've been opportunate to do a lot of work with, you know, top organizations in terms of speaking, hosting, um, um, you know, facilitating and also training. So that's what Frontal is, is all on about. So if you need my services, if you need our services, um, it's good to know that women are there, their P2P is there. We can work together. You know, you need somebody who's gonna help you bring a classy touch to your event. You can call on me. You want somebody to help you, you know, facilitate or run a training for you. We are there to support and um, training visibility um, and harnessing their potentials or whatever it is that they want to send across. So thank you so much. I just, I'm so conscious of the time now. <laughs> I'm really conscious of the time. So I want to say thank you so much for this privilege. And I know we're going to do this again and again. And I'm really thankful to Joy for this great opportunity. I do not take thank anything God. for granted. Little things make me happy. Trust me, the littlest of things that make me happy. So I am, I am excited to be part of all of you. And I pray that I get a opportunity to see you all, hug you. You want somebody to host your event, call on me. You want somebody to just speak on your behalf, call on me. You want somebody to train, call on me. And um, it will be a pleasure to serve and work with you. Thank you so very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, so much. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm not going to say much. I'm just going to say, I'm not really going to say anything, just a little. But I'm just going to say that in life, I'm just, for me today is just to encourage women. I'll talk about my business another day because today it was uh, our first step. 
this is the first thing we're doing first, but we want to leave people encouraged rather than this is what I do, this is me, but just to encourage women. And then Absolutely. we're going to have, we're going to have this every month. So every month we're going to have this. And today was introducing ourselves to our businesses, but next time we're also going to have just to motivate the women, just to talk about women and what we go through. But what I want to say, what I want to leave with you is, if you have, don't ever look for numbers to lean on. Look for one person because God can only use one person to change your narrative. Only one person. So if you think, oh my God, there are only two people watching me. Those two people, only one person that God can use. You can have a hundred people watching you and you live with nothing. You can be in the midst of a hundred people and feel lonely. But you can be in the midst of one person and feel like you're in heaven. So guys, look for quality people in your life, not quantity. And remember that when you have friends, God brings people in your life for a reason, a season, and a lifetime. Do not ever mistake those things. The problem that we have is somebody comes in your life, the season is gone, but you still don't want to let them go. Now, problem will start. Who do you blame? your friends, the other person. No, you should blame you because Absolutely. you have to identify the season, the reason, and the lifetime. So that's all I'll leave you ladies with. Please identify the reason, the season, and the lifetime. And trust me, and also listen to listen to the law of attraction. The law of attraction. If you listen to the law of attraction, every morning when you wake up and every night before you go to bed, listen to the law of attraction or law of focus. Within a month, when we come back here, you tell us, wow, Joy, I'm so changed right now. I cannot tell you how much. So that is what I'll leave you with. I'm not going to talk about what I do or my business, but that I just want to leave ladies with something to remember before you go to bed. Pa law of attraction, law of focus, and reason, season, and a lifetime. And so thank you very much, my ladies. And before we go, of course, we're going to go back to Joy, the founder, to tell us to give their vote of thanks. Thank you very much, ladies. Thank, thank you. you all for tuning in today. Thank you for your time. I know there are lots of Zoom meetings going on. So for you to give two precious hours of your time, we really do appreciate it. And we do not take that for granted. I would like to thank especially the planning committee. Lydia Ejiro, you've done a brilliant job. Thank you. And um, thank I would you. like to especially thank all the WBA members in the UK. Thank you for tuning in. And for membership details, I put the numbers on the chat. And you can follow us also on Instagram at WB Arena. Same for Facebook, WB Arena. Our website is wbarena.com. So you can also WhatsApp on uh, plus 44079327621127. For Nigeria membership, you can WhatsApp on plus 234. 08023 sorry, 08023 That's for membership for Nigeria. Thank you so much for your time. Well, thank you so, so much. Thank you so thank much, you. everybody. Thank you. Thank you for having so us. Yeah, we're going to have this again. We're going to have this again next month. Do we have a date yet, Joy, or are we going to create a date later? And the last Sunday, I think that's the 27th, the that's last week of September. Yeah, okay. that was the date we, we put on. So lock it down for the, on the, on the 27th, the Sunday. I think that's a Sunday, it's, yes. It is a Sunday, yes. Yeah. Okay. It so is before a Sunday, we, yeah. Okay, before we lock out, can, if we have any lady who wants to say something, a, a word of encouragement or say anything, we have just, we're going to give you just 10 minutes for this session. If anybody has anything to Dennis say. Dennis has ladies. her hands up. Dennis? Dennis has Dennis her hands up. up. Hi, good afternoon, ladies. I only knew about this meeting uh, four hours ago. Um, Olubumi from KB Solicitors ringed my ears and said, go home and tune in. And I did. Aww. And I am so blessed. I am so grateful. Lola, you kicked this out of the ballpark. The cakes, I've already started getting fat by just looking at them and I'm already a big girl. I am I'm excited 
I've, I've sent you a message. Um, I'm going to call you Mama Joy because of your age, and I'm a young baby and all of that. Um, but I've sent you a message on Facebook. Ah, I, I thank, I thank you. you so much for, for you. this. Uh, as you can hear from my accent, I'm not Nigerian, but I just feel like going into Nigeria and doing some business ah. now. Whoop, whoop. So uh, thank you. Yes, God, thank we're you. waiting for you. <laughs> thank I've been you. quite a few times actually. The 29th, <laughs> it, um, we must wow. all have something to say where we have stepped from from today, because today is a present that we've all been given. Yeah. And mm -hmm. in September, we must show what we seed, what we've started to germinate. Even if it's small steps, it's better than no steps. So ladies, I'm, I'm trying to challenge out. Let's do something. Let's make mommy be proud of us. Let's do it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. We have Echo Ekeose Egbe. Oh my God, I'm okay. so sorry. I'm pronouncing it wrong. Ekwase. Ekwase from WBA Lagos. Thank you. Thank you. Good no, evening, no. ladies. Good and evening. Joy, thank you for, for uh, uh, inviting me for this wonderful time all of you in the UK, you. this was a, present, a, a very lovely presentation. I just want to add something little. Believe in your abilities. You've mm -hmm. got this. That's great. Failure Absolutely. is something good. You either win or you learn. You mm -hmm. never fail. You fall down, get up again. There are lots of shoulders you can lean on. That's failure right. is a call yeah. to action. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And next we have Kofsol Group. K-O-F-S-O-L Group. Yeah. Thank Lydia, you. You, are not doing, you are not doing badly with the pronunciation. <laughs> Kofsol. Kofsol from WBA Lagos. Thank you. Yay. <laughs> good evening, everyone. Okay. Good evening. Very good evening. A very well spent time. I haven't really been held for so long in a um, Zoom meeting for this long. <laughs> I was working and I was coming back to this. I have not left for one minute since I joined. Wow. Um, yeah, wow. Olet and, and Lady EJ, you've been very, very fantastic hosts. I mean, that, this, this night was a night well spent. I, I can't thank Joy enough for starting this uh, platform, mm. the WBA, because obviously at the end of the day, when things are not really going on well in a family, most of the time it falls back to the woman. And um, for somebody to think out this and women helping women, instead of the other way around, what we've been seeing all the while, women snipping on women, women gossiping about women, but now we are women helping women. It's so awesome. And I also saw a lot of people, you know, jumping in to help one another. I'm really, really fascinated by the fact that um, Nikki and so many other people are trying to empower others. In our own little corners, if we are able to do this, the world would be a better place um, to live in, really, truly. And then uh, Lydia said something about cleaning of the house and uh, the house in a, is a mess. People can take up jobs and stuff like that. I really key in into this. Last night I was in a training all through the night, trying to get women and um, their children up into cleaning because cleaning is one of the things I do on that cup salt group. I think if uh, one and each of us decide to pick up another woman, it would be a great thing, you know, to do. I really, really enjoyed myself. I want to say that again. And I look forward to collaborations with you guys. This is a great precedence. The UK um, started, you overtook us, you overran us, and you actually did very well. I mean, it started in Nigeria, but we never thought that we could do this, but you've started it. Don't worry, we are going to give it back to you. <laughs> <laughs> WBA Nigeria will start thinking out of the box to look at what we can also do to gather people together like this. And I mean, it was fantastic. Thank you Thank so you. much, Lydia. That Thank was really so much. Thank you. Thank you. Lady Thank you. Very much. Thank I you. love everything you people did tonight. God bless you all. God Thank bless you. you. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank and you. Next, we have Joy, Joy Kange. 
Joy, please unmute yourself, my lady. Hello. Hi. Sorry, I thought baby here. So um, it's okay. <laughs> Put him Hi, where Joy. you won't hear him. Hi, Ajiro. Hello. Sorry. Oh my God, I have to run away quickly. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to say it was a very um, lovely time with you ladies. Um, thanks so much for giving us the platform to, yeah, just listen to, you know, just everyone do their presentations, talk about their businesses and yeah, just get to know, you know, all the ladies. So um. Yeah, I'll be following some of you on Instagram. And yeah, I just wanted to just Thank say, you. you know, you guys should keep the good job up. Because yeah, I know this is the first one. So I'm hoping the next ones will be so much um, more interesting and fun. So um, yeah, I look forward to just knowing more people, meeting more people on social media. I've um, put out my details there, tailored events by Joy. I do events in the UK. So if you have an event you want to plan, you know, talk to me or you know, just send me a message on Instagram and yeah, we'll be more than happy to discuss. So thank you. Sorry, I need to thank go. You. My baby's crying. Okay, thank, <laughs> thank you very you much. Thank, thank, you. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you. And <laughs> next we have Tommy Tope. Tommy Tope, please. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah. And I think that's the last person. Okay. Thank you. Um, it's always good to save the best for the last. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, really, uh, one of the few things I forgot to mention, um, and I think and I hope this encourages somebody, um, is that you know when you plant a seed, it takes time to grow. Um, yeah. Yes, I really honor the word that says, um, "Do not despise the days of little beginning." Of which I never did. Mm -hmm. um, I never despised my days of little beginning of when I started. But one thing I want to encourage a woman here is that um, when there's something in you, you know, don't ever doubt the power of that vision God has put in you. All you have to do is a little leap of faith to start that thing. Just take a step towards it. I've always desired to do what I'm doing now, but I just never brought it up. I, I didn't have that courage to. And then when I started, you know, I started with sowing seeds. I used my money. My aim was not to get money at all, was not to make money. My aim was just to do what I love to do and then get my clientele, build up my clientele later. But I used my money to, you know, my first job was to sow the seed and did a surprise for my pastor on Father's Day. And he blessed me so amazing, you know, so powerfully. And I could tell you that has been, you know, been my, 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 um, my, my drive since then. So I just want to encourage somebody, even if it's five, pounds you have just sow that five pounds into that business use your money to do that business and then before you know it you start making the money don't let the money making the money be the the main priority for your business yes you want to make money because that's the goal but at the same time you know try and build a relationship with all your clientele yeah. it really goes a long way keep uh, key point is build a good relationship even with people that you never know. I never knew I could have, you know, like an Instagram page that would be flowing, but somebody just decided to help me to um, build that page because I'm not so good at IT. I could be, you know, very nonchalant. Aww. But, you know, God has just helped me. You know, so I just want to say, sow a little seed however way you can, and then see how God will help you to make that seed grow amazingly. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. Thank Amen. you very much. Thank you very much. Did, did um, someone start sharing screen just yes. now for Titi? Can we try again? Yeah, we still have a lot of people online. We still have 60 people online. Yeah, that's why I told Titi if she can try to save, to share it from her side. I'm just asking her, Titi, how are you doing now? Because you did try, we did see something though. I saw something on the screen. Yeah. Yeah, I think she was trying to, I think she was trying to, to share, probably, you know, trying to, but it, it got disconnected again. So. Yeah. Can uh, we try it again? I really want to see those shoes and bags. Mm -hmm. Same here. Temptation by Titi. <laughs> Titi, you can unmute yourself, darling. Unmute yourself. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yes. 
when she's just, we're just trying to see if we can actually show something. If anybody else has something to say as we wait, please just raise up your hand and virtually. Nowadays, we even have virtual raising hands. Wow, mm -hmm. technology, technology, technology That's is right. good. So if you have anything <laughs> to say, okay, here she is. Uh, Titi, we can now see something on the screen now. We can see recording and yeah. Okay. I think it's okay. We have a uh, Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa Aze. Mona Lisa wants to say something. Go on, Mona Lisa. Just unmute yourself, please. Hi, everyone. I'm um, from WBA Lagos. Um, and I really had a great time. So I, I didn't even realize two hours had gone. Um, WBA UK, well done. Beautiful presentations, beautiful ladies. Um, I just want to have some fun, that's all. All of you looking so nice on your <laughs> videos. Please, what are you wearing under those tops? Can you stand up? Can we? <laughs> <laughs> Don't expose us. Don't <laughs> expose us. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that is something. <laughs> that was so funny. That was funny. Well, Lisa, you haven't told us you're a shoemaker. Oh, yeah. Well, okay. I made so... my shoes for my 60th birthday, my, my trainers. <laughs> wow. Yes, she does beautiful shoes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay. So Mona, Ma Mona Matthews is my company. It's 18 years old. Um, we make high quality leather shoes and handbags. Um, and we make everything here in Lagos, Nigeria. Um, wow. And um, yeah, very, very good quality, even if I say so myself. So, um, but I really had, I really have had an amazing time. I've learned a lot. And um, I admire, I know it's not easy to do business in the UK, and I admire all the women who have um, stepped out and who have persevered, and I pray that God continue to bless all of you and bless all of us, and we can all, you know, lift each other up as I, we've shown tonight by what, by what we've done. God bless you all. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Monica. Thank you. Lisa. Yes, somebody, somebody asked, said, uh, hey, I've got a question. Is WBA for women in business alone? And uh, is Joy here to answer that or should I answer that? Um, I can answer. I can answer quickly and then you can add to that. Mm -hmm. It's for any woman, whether you're in business or thinking of a business or looking for mentors or just looking for something to do, WBA is for you. Okay. Thank you very much. So that's why it's called WBA. That means Women Arena, Women Business Arena. I am so sorry. It's for women only, but when we're presenting, it's not just for women. We invite everybody else to join us when it's presenting time, but it's only for women because also women, we need something for ourselves. So this is ours as women. So sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Now we have oh, somebody- Lydia, I think um, Lydia, Yes, Ejiro, yeah. Okay, I, I, was, I was going to say I noticed something. So probably um, maybe any of our um, exhibitors or anybody can even be joy yourself. Anybody can just answer this question. I think there's a little bit of clarity here. And the person will say, what do you mean do business and not work at all? So that there's no condition. We're not trying to say don't work. Um, no, just no. do business. So I think um, somebody can throw in some light into that for clarity, please. So the question is, do you mean do business and do not work at all? So does somebody okay. want to say anything? Does somebody want to answer that question? I can, I can answer that. This is Lola. Okay. So, so the question again is, do you just do business and not work at all? Am I right? Yes. yes. You said, um, are you saying that just do um, do business and not work and not work at all? So yes. the person, I Absol think there needs to be some yes. clarity. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, like I said, I used to, I stopped work about five years, five years ago. 
and I concentrated on my business fully. Um, and that's a decision that you have to make as long as you know that the business can sustain your daily living. So um, some people work alongside, I used to work alongside uh, with the business to put food on the table. But once my children got older, um, my oldest is 20, it's gonna be 26 and my youngest is 21. Um, I realized that the bills or the expense was reduced. So therefore I was able to concentrate more on the business and give it full time uh, for it to grow. Yes, it is a process. I am not there yet, um, but... Oh, the lights out. Okay. Okay, I, I I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say something about my business, Miracle business. You can have your job and still have your business. You can do both together. Because you know you you start your business gradually. You don't make it in one one day. You start gradually, start building your customer base, and from that you start any extra income while you are still working. So your your, your salary is there for you, guaranteed for you every month, and you start building your business gradually. You is your choice if you want to do full time or part time. You make your choice, do your plan, and then work your plan, and you can decide after five years. I did my medical business with my work for five years before I decided to go full-time into my business. And I've been running my business full-time for the last 10 years now. Okay, so it's personal choice. Okay, and um, can I, can I add, add to that? Can I add to that as well? Oh, sorry, you need to put up your hand because then we, it, we don't talk at the same time, all of us. Yeah. So let me see if I can see anybody's hand up virtually. I cannot see, I can only see Titi. Titi's hand is up virtually actually. Titi, yeah. Okay, I'll just like to add to that. There's a certain drive it gives you when you work for yourself and you know, you're not um, expecting a salary anywhere. You know, you have bills to pay at the end of the month. At the end of the month, you know, you have um, many amenities to meet and all of that. So it gives you that drive. You will market beyond your limits and um, put everything, you put your total devotion, put your total focus into, into that business. So that's one of the advantages of um, being fully into business. Yes, it, it has its own um, ups and down. Like we all didn't plan what panned out this year, re-COVID, and it helped all of us devise ways of like doing um, a business online, relying on um, Instagram, WhatsApp, and all of that, and still getting things done and you know doubling your marketing and all of that. So yes. Uh, um, you can rely solely on working for yourself. And like I always say, do not despise little beginnings. I started my business with one suitcase. I started my business with one suitcase of luxury. And at the time I was taking it in my boot, taking it round friends and all of that. It graduated to two suitcases to the glory of God today. <laughs> uh, um, I have a store. I, I operate in two countries and you know, now my things come, now my orders come in cartons and, and all of that. So it's taken, it's taken 15 years. Yes, but um, a lot of hard work, dedication and devotion. So yes, working on your own without a side job has its own pros and cons. Thank you. Okay. We are actually running out of time. So I'm only going to take one more and we're going to finish for today because as much as we are still a lot as well. We have to respect time. So I'm only going to take one more and we're done until next month. So Adeton, Adetonyan Alewiye. I hope I did that right. Oh God, I hope I got the right. Adeton Alawiye, you have your hand up. If you can unmute yourself, please. Thank you. Okay, yes, please. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. I'm not um, a member of um, the group, but I was invited by Titi Layomiolu Walufo, so a very good friend of mine. Mm -hmm. We've been together for many years. I'm in banking, and I thought I should just chip in one or two things. I believe that uh, this particular group is about uh, women supporting women and about women empowerment as well. I'm not an entrepreneur, and I'm not into business, but I believe that um, the whole idea is collaboration. What do I mean by that? There may be members of this group that are in Nigeria where I'm based, 
and the opportunity for support in terms of funding and the available also opportunity of getting funding at uh, very low cost, you know, cheap funding to support businesses, you know, and how to access some of those uh, funding, you know, could also be a very good uh, consideration for women in this particular group. There are other things too, you know, you start a business and uh, it's blossoming. And then in terms of expansion opportunities, you may want to consider venture capitalists and other people who can invest in your business and make that business to grow. So I want to believe that, you know, it's not always about, uh, or it's not all about just business alone, but yes, people can be in business and there can be collaboration with other people who can give them fantastic financial advisory service in a way that can support those business for, you know, you know, phenomenal growth. You know, I would be nice if once in a while, you know, other people who have one or two things to contribute to this growth can be invited to this platform and be a part of uh, the discussion. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank, thank you, you very much. much. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank very you so much. We've noted all your remarks. Yeah. yeah. So thank you very much, Joy. Thank you, thank you so, much. so much. God bless you for giving us women this platform, for being a woman of tenacity, for being a woman uh, of substance, for just being who you are. Thank you so much because without you today, we were actually up to 95 people that logged in, whether we were all women or joined with some men as well, I don't know, but we were up to 95. You'll never see that in, in, in Zoom meeting. It's, it's yeah. rare to see that unless it's a celebrity meeting. So today we are all celebrities. We are all great women. And as we go to sleep, I just pray for that God cover us with his blood and we sleep well and we dream well and we eat well. So thank you very much. Amen. And thank you, Ejiro. Thank you, Ejiro, do you have anything to say before we go? I'll just put music and everybody can just sleep as they thank please as I play much. the music. Yeah. Just thank you, ladies. To thank you all for staying till the end. You can leave as you please now, please. Don't feel I have to stay. Yes, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yes, we can hear you. We were enjoying the music. We were enjoying the music. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye. Mm. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye.